Well, as I mentioned in the last vlog, um, I'm kind of running out of things to say in this daily vlog. So we may at this point be entering into that weird part of the internet. Um, when I came into my self-isolation here, those of you who've been following the vlog, you know this is not my own place. My, I was in the process of relocating and my travel was interrupted and I am back at my sister and brother-in-law's place um, in a spare room of theirs. So, my brother-in-law very kindly, um, he, he, you know, put a few things in the room because I came back, it was one day's notice, I, you know, got the next flight I could before flights stopped flying and came back and so he sort of set the room up as much as he could um, before I arrived and he put a few things in the room including some cans of food and um, but he didn't put a can opener. Now look if if I wanted to I could get hold of my my brother-in-law and or someone else in the family and I'm sure they'd be able to get me a can opener. But just for fun, um, I decided I would open a can with a spoon because I do have a spoon. So um, I actually made sure I could do that before I recorded this part because it's been a while. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you a video of me opening a can with a spoon. So I added this narration afterwards because, yeah, like I mentioned, it's been a while since I've done this. wanted to make sure I could actually do it. Um, so the, the first step is you just take the can and you, you rub backwards and forwards with the end of the spoon and it just gradually dents into the can. The first part is the hardest. You do have to have reasonably strong hands. Um, and uh, yeah, you just rub it backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, pushing pretty hard. And uh, this is probably the, the most boring part as well. Um, but I'm going to keep narrating it anyway. I'm doing this in real time so you can get an idea of how long it takes to open a can with a spoon. It took me about two and a half minutes. Probably if I'd done it more recently, I would have done it faster. So you can see my hands are getting a little bit sore. From having to hold on to that spoon so hard as I push into the can. So I have a cloth now to, you know, why be uncomfortable if you don't have to? So I can keep applying that pressure, rubbing backwards and forwards. And eventually, you're going to see in a moment here, look, I have punctured it. Hopefully you can see that. And once you've punctured it, it gets easier. Because then rather than pushing against a larger surface area of the tin to get through it, you're only working with the edge to gradually work your way around and open that can up. So you can see I'm just pushing with the side of the spoon gradually around the can, opening it up more and more. And not much further to go here, we are almost there. Here we go. So really it's, it's, it's open at this point, so I guess it actually only took me two minutes. Uh, but I took a little bit longer to be careful and reasonably neat and tidy and not make a mess as I actually pulled the, the lid of the can out of the contents. Filled with some good old baked beans. This could probably even be ASMR for someone. And there you have it, an open can of beans, opened with a spoon. So yeah, that's my update for the day. Um, maybe, maybe that's going to be useful to someone, you know? Someone in a survival situation, they might be there and think, how can I open this can? And they'll remember watching this video and remember they're able to do it with a spoon. Alright, only another couple of days for me in my isolation before I transfer into lockdown. I am going to keep up, I'm going to make sure I at least do it, keep doing daily vlogs until the end of my self-isolation. Don't know if I'm going to carry that on into lockdown. But yeah, maybe I'll see you on the next one.